Okay, welcome back to part eight of how to build a CMS with PHP. And if you guys get lost with these YouTube tutorials, just go to my website, www.villageparkmedia.com and click on tutorials and find your tutorial where you're at so it's a lot easier to watch them in the correct order. So just go ahead and click on tutorials. I don't know what's going on, but my database is not reading this. This takes way too long. So go down here and click on PHP. And for this video series that we're learning, we are learning how to build a CMS with PHP. So click on that and that will have all the steps in the correct order. Okay, so what are we going to do in this video? In this video, let's go ahead and create our folder. So we're going to go ahead and open up our applications and go down to XAMPP, XAMPP files, HDDocs. Let's go ahead and create our folder in here. So either click new folder or if you know the Mac keyboard shortcut which is shift command n it's going to ask for a password as always perfect okay now I'm going to title this village park it's probably going to ask for another password okay I'm going to go ahead and create an alias and uh, drag that alias to my desktop so I don't have to go through my applications and find this folder every single time I want to make a change to my site so I'm going to right click, create alias, it's going to ask for another password, and we're going to take this and we're going to drag it to our desktop. And I'm going to throw this one away, I don't know why it does that. Okay, so we could either add our stuff in here or add it over here, and since I created the alias, we might as well put it to use. So first things first is I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder, and just like most websites, have images folders, so is ours. So all of our images, our JPEGs, our PNGs, or our GIFs are going to go in here. I'm going to go ahead and create another folder. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut this time, which is Shift Command N. And I'm not sure what it is if you're on a PC. I'm terribly sorry. And we're going to go ahead and create a JavaScript folder. So either type out JavaScript or just JS for short. I'm just going to leave it as JS. I think my voice just cracked. It's kind of embarrassing. And I want to create another folder, our includes folder. And this is where a lot of our PHP files are going to go in, including our header.php, footer.php, etc. So includes. I'm going to go ahead and arrange this by name. And I'm going to go ahead and create another folder. I'm going to create our CSS. And I'm assuming you guys know a little bit about HTML and CSS at this point. Okay. And I'll go ahead and just create our... I'm going to go ahead and create... I'm going to create our index.php file, and I'm going to add it just in here into our root folder of Village Park. This does not go in our includes folder. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all this stuff. I'm going to give it basic HTML tag structure. HTML, come on, work with me, not against me. Head. Give it the title. I'm not even going to give it a title because I don't even know what I want to name it yet. And uh, I'll give it the body tags. Close out our body tags. Okay, now let's go ahead and save this to our root folder. So let's just find our desktop. Here's our root folder, the alias that we created. And I'm going to title this index.php. Okay, perfect. I'm going to double check to see if it's in our alias folder. There it is, index.php. And I'm going to double check our applications folder just to make sure that our alias is working. Perfect. Okay, I got our CSS folder, images folder, includes index.php and JS. Okay, so we have successfully created our workstation. So if you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video.